Good morning, good morning. It's Friday, beautiful day outside. My car's been rained on. Uh, Ricky has forced me to start parking my car outside because we have too many. The thing that's really been uh, on my mind this morning was the word quit. I have been I have been presented with multiple ideas, multiple concepts, multiple business making opportunities. Uh, some of which I, I, ha I have familiarity with that I've done. Um, I, know the, I know the process. I know the income that comes behind it. I know, I know what it takes to get it done. I'm familiar with the, every single step of it. Another one happens to be uh, running a business for a gentleman that I know where I know nothing about it. Uh, there's an income attached to it. There's a level of success coming with it. And all these things I've entertained for about five seconds. Five seconds. The one that I'm familiar with the income and I'm familiar with the processes of it, I entertained that for five seconds after I came to the conclusion that there was a reason why I moved away from that area of work in the first place. Whether it be the income wasn't sufficient enough or whether I just wasn't happy in what it is that I was doing. I moved away from it, so why would I go back? Well, the only reason I would have went back was because it was comfortable to me. It was familiar to me. It was usual stomping grounds. It was something that I had previous knowledge and experience of. So that's the reason I went, and went back, and that wasn't enough for me. Familiarity, comfortability, knowing that there's a guaranteed paycheck at the end of it. Well... For some people, probably 99% of the world, that would be okay. But something about waking up in the morning, doing what it, what it is that I want to do, making decisions for my business, my life, my family, going forward, building something that has never been built before, well, there's something, there's something to that. And there's something a little bit more powerful to doing that than just settling than just dealing with something that's comfortable because you understand the processes and the steps and the phases that it takes to get it done. There's something about it that's a little bit more fulfilling than just quitting and going after what I know and what's easy. There's something to the, to the growth. And I knew at the moment that I told each one of these entities no, that I didn't plan on going that direction because one of them, the direction was backwards. The other one, it was somebody else's plan. And you know what they say, if you ain't got a plan of your own, there's somebody out there that got a plan for you. If you ain't got no business of your own to run, then there's somebody out there that's got a business you can run, i.e., checkout clerks at uh, the Fry's grocery store, i.e. The, the clerks at the Circle K, i.e. the Starbucks employee. Now, these are all jobs. They all provide a living. They all may be a stepping stone for somebody. That's fine. I'm not knocking anything that anybody does because, quite frankly, what you do doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't motivate me. It doesn't move me. It doesn't encourage me. What I do encourages me, motivates me, and moves me. But those are examples of if you don't have a plan for yourself, how somebody will give you a plan. I chose to not go towards those directions because the reasons were wrong. It looked too much like quitting. Now, I'm in probably one of the roughest industries out there, honestly. Honestly. You're expected to you're expected to make people trust you to either buy or sell them some real estate. You're not guaranteed a paycheck. And this is how you have to raise your family. That alone right there will cause 99% of the world to quit. To literally quit, right? See, instead of making me quit, it makes me want to go harder, faster, longer, 
Because I know that when you want to quit, the prize is on the other side of that feeling. The reward and the payoff are on the other side of that feeling. If you stay true to what it is that you're doing and whatever it is you're excelling in, then you will get the reward and the prize. All these other obstacles and delusions of grandeur and riches and fame that come at you with no challenge, with no uh, angst or no anxiety, just, hey, here you go, I'll give this to you. Just come on with me and do my plan. I don't want it if it ain't rough. I don't want it if it's easy. The most powerful thing that I've heard in the last year, and I, I don't know I've ever heard it before, was the saying, do the work. It's probably been around forever. Probably been even something that somebody I know told me at one point in my life, but I wasn't listening. Do the work. And what what that do the work means, it means that anything worth having, you got to put in the time and the effort. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't run for the hills when it looks like things is too rough to get better and you want to give up. Because if you give up now, you'll keep giving up. If you give up on what you want at this moment, you will keep giving up. You can deem yourself a quitter if you quit. If you stop, if you give up, you have quit. You have quit and you will always quit. You will quit and you'll keep quitting everything you start and do until you stop quitting. You'll quit. I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting. It's not going to happen. Have a wonderful day. Whatever you're doing, especially for you kids, don't quit. Don't quit. You want to make the football team? Don't quit. You want to be the best finance person? Take more classes. On finances. Don't quit. Easy ain't the road to get to where you want to go. Easy is the road to quit. You want easy? Quit. You want fast? Quit. You want now? Quit. You want what you want? Do the work. Do the fucking work.